As I'm sure most of you have already heard, Dead Man Apocalypse dropped today. It's basically Dead Man mode, but every six hours, giant rift portals open, and bosses spew out into the world, dropping insane loot. I'm talking Twisted Bows, Scythes, Tumic and Shadows, Karasis, Claws, Festa's Longsword, Stat Hammers, the list goes on. My goal this Dead Man mode was to take a bit of a different approach. I wasn't going to be the best singles PKer and get as advanced as I could, but instead I wanted to make the largest team and raise the biggest army, inviting you, yes you, all my viewers, in order to take on these breaches with Psyche and all of my friends. We got up to some insane multi-fights, did some singles PKing, and took on every breach that spawned day one. This is Psyche's Dead Man mode day one, and I hope you enjoy the video. For freedom! This is for freedom, boys! Today, we fight! We put Psyche on the map, goddammit! They're gonna know who we are! Many of you will die. Many of you will get backstabbed. We are an open clan chat. It all could go wrong at any moment. I tried to keep the plan as simple as possible. We'd rush the stronghold, get our 10K, buy crossbows, and immediately start training together in the wilderness. At which point, our one hour immunity would run out and we'd head to Lava Dragons to try and sweep it, get some magic levels and some quick loot. But it kind of all went wrong. Wait, so they can't get PK'd. We're gonna rush in once the PvP protection's up. I have one minute left, guys, one minute left. All right, push, let's go, push Lavas. Go, 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 everybody go, everybody go, sprint in. Dorgie's on rapid, get ready. We're just gonna kill anyone we see. Kill on sight. They might have protection, but just kill on sight. And protection they did have. We killed almost nobody in the initial rush, but we did lock down Lava Dragons and get some Magic XP and some Dragon Bones to get some early prayer levels. I actually underestimated the sheer amount of people who would pull up. We actually had like over 200 people PKing Lava Dragons with us, so obviously there weren't enough dragons to go around, so I thought it would be a good idea to divide our forces into two worlds and lock it down. But, unfortunately, a clan was watching the stream waiting for this exact moment, and they were ready to hit us with our scattered forces. We take this world too. This is good. This is much better. This is much better. This is much better. Oh shit, there's a bunch of Vidots coming in. Where, where, where? On your world? Yo, Are you guys yo, getting hit? World. Oh, yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting hit. Me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Go back. What world was it? What world was it? 385? 385, 385. Hop back to 385, guys. Get to the I'm southeast. Died. Hop in. How many? How many do they have? There are too many. Don't even bother. Dude, they were waiting for us to do this. Fuck. They're gonna come clear us too. Everybody get southeast in 440. Everybody get southeast. They're gonna come next. They're gonna come here next. Prepare yourself for the worst massacre in Dead Man Mode history. But first, a word from today's sponsor. War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. You can engage in real-time combat and control more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in real-life large-scale battles. Every vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, offering you a highly immersive combat experience. This means that all the vehicles have an in-depth customization system with hundreds of camos, historical markings, and 3D decorators that you can place on your ships, planes, or tanks. The collection of vehicles in War Thunder come from all throughout history, over 100 years of development from the 1920s all the way up into the present day. And you guys know me, I personally love PvP, and the modern jet and airplane dogfights are my absolute favorite feature this game has to offer. And I think you guys will love it too. War Thunder is available on PC, Xbox Series X, and S, PS5, or any of the consoles from the previous generation. Try it out now for free using my link in the description and get a huge free bonus pack to get you started with multiple premium vehicles, a 50% XP boost, and much, much more. Shout out to War Thunder for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to the Dead Man Mode content. They're coming, they're coming, get ready, get ready, here they come! Look at Minthera, Minthera, Minthera! Yellow Lori, Yellow Lori, Bolt Yellow Lori! Oh boy. Oh, it's fucked. Oh, the climate is- No! No! Just bolt people! There's so many! <laughs> Just bolt people! Guys, push to the gate, push to the gate, push to the gate! Dude, they have so many. Yeah, we got taken out by Rot, killing just about our entire force, but luckily this dead man mode, you don't lose any experience on death, so it's not really that punishing. You just re-gear and keep training. We even had things put in place for this. I asked anyone who was joining the team who had free name changes to change their name to an imposter name of mine, like LEU14. That way opponent clans will have a hard time calling people out, and they won't be able to directly target me as I'm one of their main callers, but there's only so much you can do against that amount of sheer force. 
Good fight, Rob. <laughs> Completing any quest in Deadman mode will result in you gaining 10 times the normal XP. So completing quests is a massive way to get power spikes and level up really quickly. We decided it would be best if we went and worked on our melee stats and did Vampire Slayer and a few other quests to level up quickly whenever I ran into this guy with five keys. All right, fight arena, y'all. What's up, pussy? What's up, you fucking bitch? I don't know if I win this chat, but fuck it up. I'm not going to try. I got chicken cutlet and fucking face paint all over me, chat. You probably have more run energy than them as well. than Ava's He's out. Already. What the fuck? Do I keys? Uh, you're gonna the snatch that cross. Oh! Oh my god! What the fuck? Yo, Eli, get me one of them bows. Get me one Yo, of them bows. Can I, can I get I one as well? One. I, need I need food, bro. I need food. I know what you're thinking. Freaking out over 44k, but this is only like an hour and 20 minutes into Deadman mode, and rates are 1 to 1,000. This is the equivalent of PKing like 50 mil on the 07 servers. I wanted to do my best to keep everyone in the game, so I spent the money on more Dorgy bows, and I passed out new equipment for the team, and we got right back out in the fight. So PK. much money you can make in the Is this area multi or not? Bully. <laughs> You guys might think this is rude and bullying the noobs, but this is dead man mode. It actually turns out I forgot the runes to complete waterfall quest, and I didn't have an axe to cut the logs required for this quest, and killing this guy simply got me all of that, plus 10k. Never be afraid to skull up and PK. Oftentimes it might actually end up setting you further ahead than you ever would have been before doing it. So after three hours from the release of Dead Man Mode, the first rift was scheduled to spawn. After that, they come in at six hour intervals, and we don't want to miss any of them, because the loot is seriously insane. So we massed up the entire squad and we headed out into the wilderness to try and find where the location was. Oh, I see it. Look, look, look. Oh shit, it's stacking up Prime! Dude, it's gonna kill us all, chat. I don't think we can do this. Oh my god, people are dying, bro. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Don't do it! Run away! <laughs> run away! We don't have overheads, boys. We can't. One of the absolute legends in our clan chat who managed to get enough Lava Dragon Bones for Prey Mage was able to kite Supreme and tank his hits so it would only hit him. And with some flawless prayer flicking, the rest of us were able to get some damage in without getting hit. I don't trust this one bit. Oh, what the fuck? There's a kill. <laughs> what run? Wait, you the kill the Dagonoth. Watch out for that crazy looking thing. What the fuck is I that? think that's good. I think it's a melee. I think that's good. I think we can kill it. We got to deal with, if we deal with prime, we can kill the abomination. It's only a melee. Just to save you guys some time, the first rift was pretty uneventful. We were just kind of learning the mechanics of it, and we didn't really get anything good. We got no big drops. However, as long as you deal damage to the boss, you'll get a decent loot. Sometimes you'll get mystic pieces, rune pieces, you'll get supply drops, like I got potato cactus and noted swordfish, and the player who does the most damage will have a good chance of getting one of the unique drops, such as a tier 5 emblem or any of the blighted weapons I mentioned earlier. This drift was a good baseline for us, and we started to learn how it would function and uh, the things we would need for the next one, which would definitely include overheads. Look, guys, the rifts are easily the most exciting content this DMM has to offer, and with six hours until the next one, I'm going to try and speed through what we did. We did some PKing at Lava Dragons. Yo, 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 smoke these idiots. What's up, bro? Wrong hood, bitch. Tank, respectful tank. That guy did pretty good. Kill Iron Barlin. Kill Iron Barlin. Kill him, kill him, kill him. What's up, bruh? Welcome to Sykes Territory, my brother. DD right here. Stand on me. Stand on me. Stand on me. We're gonna clear it. Yo, yo, kill Jack Sparrow. Kill Jack Sparrow. What's up, blood? Yo, hit a snare on that. Nice. Ignalo. Jack Sparrow. Take him out. Dead. So where do kill him. Kill him. Get kill him. From? Uh, from the things in Lumbridge. In Lumbridge. The resistance in Lumbridge. Fuck with my boy Ignalo, bro. Look at all these keys, yo. We got some PKs. Good shit, gang. Look at us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. What's up, boys? Hello, boys. Send a boat. Send a boat. Snare him, Ignalo. Snare him. Snare that motherfucker. What's up, wolves? Good fight, mate. Squeezed in a bit of questing. And of course, you know me. I had to pick up some PKs here and there. Yo, I'm not going to lie, chat. I don't know what Blood is doing, but he is fucking dead. Blood. I don't know what Blood thought was gonna happen there. Um, there's a lot of people PKing. 
flawlessly killed the black demon during the Grand Tree quest. Oh, a fucking idiot, you fucking melon shrew, you fucking little fucker. Boy. Kill the black demon. Five Let's go to the poop. Dude, how many cups of coffee has this kid had today? I swear he's, he keeps he keeps saying I'ma go and get a coffee out of the microwave chat. Uh -huh -huh. You think he like heats up his Oh he's coffee. gonna die, he's not on the safe spot. He's not no! on the safe spot. No! Oh. The safe spot. Oh no, Eli. Dude, that teaches what? you not to drink 25 cups of coffee. In After it. pushing into the 50 bracket, I completed Grand Tree and Monkey Madness 1 with my immunity, and we got ready for the next rift, which was soon approaching. 10 p.m. Any second, chat. Any second. Any second. Any second. It's 10 p.m. It should show up, like, literally right now. It should be right now. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Mountain of arrows. North of oh, right here. Right here. North of GE. Go, 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 go. It's right here, boys. It's right here. North of GE. Go, 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 go. This is ours. Yes. Let's fucking go. Oh, We're all right here. Go, 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 go. Kill the Derwin. Kill Derwin. Oh, shit. Pray range. Pray range. Pray range. Rex is here. Melee Rex. Melee Rex. That's actually the dream for me. Go. Guys, melee Dagonoth Rex. Dagonoth Supreme. Oh, my God. A greater abyssal demon. Dad, your grubby keys got it. Grubby keys got it. See if you can find grubby keys. See oh, General Garla. Oh, Holy shit. A jelly. I'm gonna be honest, this was like 11 hours to my live stream, and we were all kind of fried in the head after playing for so long. Maybe we should have been focusing on PKing the other people more, but it was really difficult since it was right next to a safe zone. So we all just kind of tunnel visioned the bosses and tried to get the big loots. Zilyana! Oh! Oh my god, Gridor's here. Bro. Holy fuck, Gridor's here. Careful, guys. Pray mid. Oh god, oh god. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Mystic! Oh my fucking god! Dude, Mystic could die. Since this breach was right next to the Grand Exchange and I still wasn't scald, anytime I got an emblem, I would just run in and give it to the emblem trader, grab some prayer pots, and run right back. Oh my god! <laughs> this is fucking cooked, dude! This is so funny! Holy shit! That's major racism, I don't know, I'm tanking him head on! No, he's on me! Help! Well, would we pray against Dagnar? Uh, right, right. Advanced weapon, bro. We gotta try and find the guys who got the trinkets and kill them, bro. That's like those are scythes and tebos and shit. Oh, KBD, pray mage, pray mage, pray mage, pray mage, pray mage, pray mage. It's KBD. He'll target. Oh fuck, he's just dead. Pray mage, supreme as well. Supreme, prime, prime. Pray mage, pray mage, pray mage. Chat, I'm not calling. I'm just reacting, bro. There's too much shit going. I'm freaking out. In this dead man mode, Elite Void is for sale at the Emblem Trader, and it only requires 42 combat stats to use, so people with the Elite Void range are really scary, and there was almost a whole clan of them. Guys, range pray up. These Elite Void kids are really KBD, scary. KBD, 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 KBD. Oh, KBD. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Oh my god, shoots are off, Krill's here. Mind if I do? That's not bad. He got MVP. That's quite good. Nice. Yo, this clan's starting to kill clear people. Be careful, guys. There's mad keyed up people. At this point, my strongest stats were my melee, since I had a dragon dagger, and I would just dump my specs anytime the Dagonoth Supreme spawn, since it's weak to melee, and I got really lucky. I actually got three tier 5 emblems. After the breach was all said and done, I ended up with three tier 5 emblems, a couple mystic and rune pieces, some supply drops, a boot upgrade, some good XP levels, and 4.5 million experience in the shop. 
From this breach alone, our clan managed to pull a pair of Blighted Dragon Claws, a Tumican Shadow, I'm pretty sure someone else got a Blighted Void Waker, and one person actually got a VLS from their trinket. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to try out War Thunder for free using my link in the description. These are my stats ending day one. Tomorrow we're going to get a lot stronger and go into the next bracket. Follow me on Twitch and subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow.